What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So a quick update on some of the items that we've done here. Um, so we upgraded and put a bigger switch in here. Uh, it used to be a little four port on the ground. We bumped it up here. Uh, we've been messing around a little bit with the electrical. I did have an electrician buy here uh, recently. Uh, we're actually in four weeks. I'm scheduled to get a 30 amp in here, a 240 volt 30 amp. So I'm really excited about that. So that's going to help to take care of a ton of this power drain that we have down here and allow us to go ahead and take this rig and expand it. Right now it's running about 1850 watts, so 1850 watts. And uh, it is just pushing the 15 and 20 amp I have down here in the basement to the limit. So we're going to go ahead and get that addressed. Uh, this is a Ravencoin rig. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, it's run we're running 12 GPUs back in here total. RX uh, 470s and RX 570s. And uh, we get about 166 mega hash um, on this rig. Over here, this is our test bench. We have a previous video that we built this here. Um, very, very cheap uh, at the end of the day to build out this test bench, except for, of course, the GPU. Uh, I ha I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner to a full guide on building this test bench from uh, an old HP tower. Uh, is what we did in order to save on cost. So keep an eye out for that. Right now, this is an XFX 580 eight gig card. Uh, it is does have the dual BIOS on it and we are mining Ethereum at about 31. Let's see if that focuses here. 31 to uh, 32 uh, mega hash. So not doing too, too bad. Um, we use this as a test rig and we'll be using it today to show off this uh, new video card. So the new video card is this monster beast that we do have here. This is the uh, Power Color Red Devil Edition AMD Radeon 5700 XT. So let me go ahead and get this unboxed and we'll take a look at this bad boy. Alrighty, so we got this unboxed. Look at the sheer size of this thing. This thing is insane. Let me grab, uh, I don't know, this is a 470 here. <laughs> It's crazy how big that is, even the thickness. It's crazy how big this card is. I mean, there's computers that are smaller than this card, honestly. Um, but as I said, this is the uh, uh, 5700 XT, uh, the Red Devil Edition here. Um, huge card, a huge heat sink on this sucker. I mean, look how small the board is versus this entire heat sink. Um, very large there. It is two eight pins. That you guys can see right there so going to pull in a decent amount of power um, i have not actually got my hands on any of these red devil cards yet so i'm excited to get this thing plugged in to our test rig so let's go ahead and get that in place and let's start looking at some hash rates okay our test bench is loaded up look at the size of this thing it is bigger than our motherboard here it's crazy um, so we have our two eight pins uh, they are connected and good to go um, look at this clearance on our on the memory clips here there's like nothing between those two white and little memory clips, uh, the dim slots and the board, it's crazy. Um, so I do have an adapter plugged in for the monitor. Uh, we do have a uh, HDMI to uh, DVI as the HP motherboard only has DVI and also has um, VGA. Um, so that'll give us at least some uh, monitor display here. So let's go ahead, handy dandy power button here, right out of the case. Power this on, take a look at that. Got the green red devil. You feel like, I feel like red devil should be red. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I feel like that should be red and not green. Uh, other than that, fans are off right now as it's waiting for the configuration um, from Hive OS and then those will spin up as we start mining uh, and the temp starts spinning. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and see what Hive OS is seeing for some stock hash rate, and then we'll get into some overclocking. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, welcome to the computer. So as you can see here, we are running the PowerColor Radeon RX 5700 XT. It is running on the Micron uh, DDR6. So we are currently at the factory settings here. We haven't made any changes over clock settings at all. Um, you can see I've done a lot of testing today based off of those green and yellow bars in the middle. And uh, we're about 49.7 mega hash, which is, which is pretty sweet. Um, the beefiest car that I've ever had on my channel. Uh, in that regard, swapping over to uh, shell in a box here, we can go ahead and see, you know, we got 47, we got 47.7 uh, numbers in here, pretty consistent across the board. Um, 49, I'm sorry, 49.7 and 49, uh, 49.72. So very, very consistent numbers. It looks like that our, our core uh, is at 2050 right now. Um, as well as our, our memories at 875. So these are already tuned very, very well uh, for what I'm seeing uh, with this uh, BIOS configuration that is on here right now. The VDDC is already at 1150. Um, so we got some, we don't, you don't have a crazy amount of wiggle room um, with this, uh, the way that I'm seeing it right now, uh, but there is some more potential. So let's go ahead and uh, load up our overclock settings in here. I have two sets of overclock settings I want to test. So we're going to set our benchmark at the 49.7, and then we're going to come back in just a minute with my first set of overclock settings. Keep an eye on this watts, though. We're at 49.7, but we're at 193 watts. Okay, we'll be back in just a minute with our first overclock settings. Alrighty guys, so let's take a look. So our first set of overclock settings here, we have our core clock at 1325, our core voltage at 750, our memory controller voltage at 750, and our memory clock at 870. Finally, our memory voltage is at 1280 and our fan speed 75. It really comes down to what your ambient temperatures are around your rig. So we have gone ahead and bumped up just a tiny bit here. We're only we're still around 49.39. Um, so you're like, oh, that didn't really do a ton. But take a look over at our watts. We're down to 97 watts right now. So we're getting right about the same performance for a significant amount of wattage difference there. Um, it's sitting right around that same level, uh, you know, varies right around there, but doesn't go too, too crazy. You know, with, a, with, uh, ETH hash, you know, it's very efficient and it's very consistent versus something like Ravencoin, which you're, which you're definitely all over the board with. So let's go ahead, um, and load up our second set of, uh, overclock settings and see how we do there. Alrighty guys, we're back. Um, uh, so the second set of configurations that we tried here, um, and I, I've been really scouring uh, the net looking for this particular model. So the RX 5700 XT, the power color Micron DDR6. So making sure that we're selecting, you know, we're finding ones with the Micron memory. And so on this one, what I found was uh, 1483 for the core clock, um, 800 for the core voltage, 810. Then let me check something real quick. 810, yep, 810 for our memory controller voltage, 960 for our memory clock, and then for the memory voltage, 1310, and finally our fan 75. So I did go ahead and get this up for a very brief time. Uh, we saw we were up at around 51, uh, but then all of a sudden the miner was like, nope, and then it went ahead and rebooted this sucker. So um, I'm going to have to spend some time seeing if we can find something better. Uh, I'm not seeing a ton out there. Like there's a ton of overclock settings out there for 5700 XTs. But for the power color Micron DDR6, I'm not finding a ton out there right now. So if you guys have any recommendations on a configuration that I haven't tried, please go ahead and drop them in chat. I've seen people with this configuration posting screenshots within hive os and upwards of 59 so 10 mega hash higher and they're actually successful with it which is incredible um i'm not seeing that here though this card seems like it is a very difficult card to 
overclock and configure based off the fact that it doesn't seem like like every card like the silicon lottery it seems like every card is so so different versus you know traditionally you know a little difference here and there but like this is i mean you're talking about a 10 mega hash difference between one overclock setting to another is pretty pretty crazy all right let's go ahead and jump over to our camera Alrighty guys, so we weren't entirely successful in getting the overclock settings that I so hoped for. I was hoping we could get in the 50s there on this 5700 XT. I'm going to keep trying, I promise. If you guys have any recommendations for overclock settings that you've seen for these 5700 XTs, please drop them in chat. Love to hear what settings that you guys are running currently on your Red Devil cards. I really like this card. It's phenomenal. It does great for power consumption. I mean, sub 100 um, on this type of hash rate, phenomenal. Now, granted, this is Ethereum, so it is running, you know, significantly more efficient uh, overall with temps and also hash rate. But I'm excited with this 5700 XT. This is one hell of a card. Other than that, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today as we get into the Red Devil. AMD 5700 XT. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the channel with a friend. We are growing like crazy and I love to include them in our community. Other than that, guys, please don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.